Thanks for clicking back to PokerNews.com. I am here with the wonderful Maria Ho. Hello. Hi. I'm really regretting this interview because I'm going to look like Casper the Friendly Ghost next to you. <laughs> you are very tan. I am very tan. I've been on a, a tanning, poker, playing vacation of sorts for like the last month. So, Okay, let me see if I get this right. You've been in Israel, Cabo, Canada, South Africa, now Malta in the last two months. Yes, all places that are very sunny and have amazing weather, thus the tan. <laughs> are you planning on going anywhere else after this or are you taking a break? I'm ready to go home because LA also has nice weather so I can continue my tanning back home. <laughs> Do you have any, you've been so many places, obviously amazing race, poker. Do you have anywhere on your bucket list you haven't been yet? Somebody actually recently asked me that and I hate to sound like the person that's like, oh, I've been everywhere I want to go. But there isn't any place that I'm dying to go to, but I think at some point maybe I'll go to Iceland. It's very popular right now, that like hot spring and the northern lights. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I probably won't be able to get a tan there, but it's okay. I'm, I'm tan. Knowing you, you probably will. <laughs> I'll find a place. I'll find a way. So you're here for EPT Malta, but what else brings you to Malta? So after EPT Malta is the Battle of Malta, which is, you know, a long running tournament hosted by Poker Listings. And I've been their host for three years and it's an amazing tournament. It's kind of like a smaller buy-in um, EPT feel. So there's like a lot of parties, a lot of cool things. And, you know, it's always been the biggest uh, standalone poker tournament held in Malta. So we're uh, really excited for another big turnout this year. So you've been before for this event? Yes. Um, this is my third time in Malta. And so, you know, Malta is my like second home now all of a sudden in Europe. <laughs> it's a really nice second home. Yeah. And then finally you went to TwitchCon. Yes. Tell, I have no idea what that would be like. Tell me a little bit about the atmosphere, the people. It was amazing. Honestly, you know, you hear about, you know, esports and just how big it is, but you don't really know what that culture is like until you get involved in that whole like environment and it's amazing the people are so cool and i think it's just like poker where it's like people can't really fathom what that community is like until you're immersed in it and uh, i met some really cool people and uh, i loved my experience there were there i imagine you're one of few women there is that true no actually what's crazy is i think people might think that and i thought that too but when i was there there were so many women and there were so many like you know just cool people that weren't just like gamers but just you know they had like day jobs and this is kind of their escape so that's interesting well thanks for chatting with us and good luck in this tournament and the poker listings one as well and of course stay tuned to pokernews.com for all your updates